Right over here, it was bloody cold and windy today. Winter was well and truly arrived. Oh, I hate winter. Anyway, I've got this uh, batch of here, the one I've written in the pan. Yeah, I might as well scrap them, that, that and that one. As well as the other 720 cold crack in it when I had. But uh, on the second thoughts, I'm going to try and convert these to Allen batteries. This and I have uh, filled it, I let it dry out for about three days after rinsing it three times on January the yesterday. Bit. And rinsed it three times, let it sit, dry, sit to dry out for about three days, and put me a uh, fresh water, uh, rain water, which we have, uh, have distilled what rain water would do. It doesn't seem to affect the battery in any way. And mix it with some, um, a mixture of, with some, uh, I think about roughly a tablespoon in each cell of bicarb soda. And you gotta be quick because it will just bubble up and fizz up like a volcano. Obviously the bicarb soda is going to neutralise all the acid, which is what you want. Obviously this batch is not going to work after that because no acid, there's no reaction, there's no, no uh, energy anymore. But um, that actually chemically desulfates the cells. And I looked in there, with the torch, like I said, the cells, are the, um, the water in there is actually turning brown, which is a good thing. It's actually cleaning the plates chemically. Now when I replace this with um, the uh, alum mixture, it'll be a different chemistry altogether. So uh, this is good the best condition plates. So I tested this a week before it failed. I tested, I think, 580 cold cracking out, so it's 600. Somewhere around there. That was just after the um, it was turned off though. So pretty damn good for its age just before it failed. I've repaired the interconnecting strap again for that screw, that bolt. Reconnected it. Now they reckon this would be an alkaline battery, so that shouldn't corrode. But basically what the other mixture does, they'll convert it from an ordinary uh, car battery into a deep cycle battery, which can be, um, last a hell of a long time. So it can be drained flat completely numerous times and recharged. It won't ever be up to that high again. It will drop by about a volt, I think, they reckon, this new, with this new mixture. The reason why I want to convert these, and if that does work out, I've read many movies that it does actually work. I want to use this, this and this, in series for 36 volts for my ZVS to charge these capacitors. I thought, those coilless drill batches are crap. They just bug it. And by the time I get a power supply, I don't know where I'm going to get a good, a decent one enough from. Why not use some of these batteries instead? Just convert them to lead Allen, ba uh, lead Allen batteries and just use these. I could just sit them under there and forget about them and charge when I need them. They, they, they should hold their charge for ages and shouldn't uh, break down. This is the most stuffed one. The soles in there are pretty well knackered. There's bits of lead, lead plate float, floating everywhere in there. But they all still seem to charge up okay. The amps is probably, it's 130 milliohms. And about, that, that's after I just took it off this. 130 milliohms uh, and about, about, I think it was 9.6 cold cracking amps. So it's pretty bad. That one there is about 30 cold cracking amps and about 70 milliohms. This one here is 120 cold cracking amps left in it, so I'll do this one here as well, convert it. I'll do this one here last. This has got the most uh, soles left intact out of that, that and that. Actually, no, that one here has. Because that's, that's still had plenty of cold cracking amps in it. But out of these three, this has got the best condition out of the three here. Anyway. Flocculate, high claw. Look for that in the supermarket. That's the um, probably where I'm going to get the alum from because you can get it. Should have it in a two kilogram bucket. It's the right alum we need. It's an aluminium sulfate for these batteries. And I reckon there are. You know, I reckon I think one video I watched. They used um, 100 grams of alum per one litre of water. So let's see how that how that ratio works. What I'm doing now, charging to begin, is to uh, just to clean off any excess uh, sulphate off the plates, what's left of them after they've been sitting for a while. So I'll get as much of the sulphate off the plates as I can. Then we can do the conversion. I'll keep them maintained though, just to keep them clean, what's left of the plates in there. Then I'll, uh, I'll have to drain the acid through a filter, some sort of strainer, into a bucket and retain the acid. 
because that brown stuff full of dissolved lead is a dangerous part for the environment. But yeah. The acid itself isn't very toxic, but the actual uh, dissolve, the lead that's dissolved into it is a bad part. So I'll try and filter it and reuse the acid. I'm not sure if I ever use it to top up another battery or we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'll just put it in an old toilet later jump and let it sit in there and it can sit in there and be a uh, settle in there. We'll see what we can um, do with these batteries. You know, what, the same with the rinse water, always retain all that all that lead that you can rinse out of these must be contained in a, um, an old drum. Don't let it get into the environment because yeah, the lead actually stays in the ground and it can get into the plant and the plant grows a fruit such as vines or whatever it be as a candy or whatever you're growing. It gets into the food chain that way. The lead can, yeah, that's how, bad, how toxic the lead is to the environment and the people. So it's got to be careful with that sort of stuff. But, yeah. That one there rinsed up pretty clean. That one there got about three rinses and the water started getting pretty damn clean. So this one is pretty much good to go. Just getting the residual uh, sulphate off the plates using this um, uh, bicarb soda method. Been there for about half an hour so far and it's settled right down. Again, be very careful when you chuck bicarb soda in there because the reaction's like a volcano. I, I just thought with this batch today. Then I'll flush it out a couple of times and then do the element with this one and see what the difference is between this one and these that have been rinsed out with water only. See what that does. But it's uh, worth trying. The uh, ideal to have these is to turn into deep cycle batteries. I like get some quite good use out of them. Anyway, that'll be enough for now.